I'm currently on holidays to be honest like I'm not supposed to be filming a video while you're on holidays but this update is very very important which is why I had to film this video hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Fadira if you're joining me for the very first time I'm so happy to have you all in our beautiful family for my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos I really do appreciate God bless you so in today's video I've got an update like we all know that the UK government announced on the 1st of January that you're no longer entitled to come with your dependents if you're coming to the UK to study and this has actually caused a lot of drama like of lecturers have been laid off that's to tell you how important the international students are in the UK economy I was actually an international student I think about 13 years ago so this really shows that we are really important in this country so this is a recent update just as you can see on my screen 15 universities announced staff layoffs cost closure due to reduce overseas enrollments and you know one of the things I noticed about the UK universities there are some courses like some departments that you can never imagine that they exist because they are just doing it to create room for more international students to come in to study i remember when i came to the uk to study uh, some years back there are some new departments that were opened during my studies just to allow more international students to come in to study so at least 15 universities in the united kingdom have publicly announced staff layoffs and course closures so that means that most of those courses will no longer be in existence because to be honest i don't think everybody that actually did masters or studying in the uk actually gets employed by what they have studied in the uk now at least 15 universities in the united kingdom have publicly announced staff layoff and course closure prompted by a significant decline in overseas postgraduate student enrollment this past January, according to University World News. In the United Kingdom, at least 15 universities have publicly announced staff layoff and cost closure, which was prompted by a significant decline in overseas postgraduate student enrollment this past January. This is directly related to the UK government's stance on reducing international students' numbers Concerns are now mounting that undergraduate student recruitment may also decline in the upcoming academic year. Even undergraduates will not even find the UK as interesting like they used to find it in the past. Now, apart from that, if you have been following me on this channel, the UK government as well is currently reviewing the post-study work visa. So I don't know if the UK is just trying to chase everybody out of the uk they are reviewing the post-study work visa and like i keep saying that when i came into study the post-study work visa was available and just a set before mine they changed the law so now the uk government have said they are going to look at the post-study work visa and just to remind you that the post-study work visa both postgraduate students and also undergraduate students are entitled to it and it's a visa that allows them to stay in the UK for two years and look for a job. But right now, me, I don't even understand. Parametrics report that the higher education landscape in the United Kingdom has seen many universities, ranging from prestigious Rosell Group universities to mid-tier universities and Scottish institutions, issuing alerts about potential cost reduction and staff layoff. You can imagine how this has affected even lecturers who actually had jobs in the UK to so put them back into the labor market to start looking for jobs that will sustain them and their families. I am sure maybe the UK government will do something about it. I don't know. But as you can see, this is becoming more serious. And this is also to let everybody that is watching this video know that the international students, overseas students are very, very important when it comes to the studies in the UK. Like I've always said in my videos that during my time of studies in the UK, that there were just a very few few home students that were in our class like you hardly find more of a home student but I would say out of 98 of us I think only eight or so were home students and the rest of us were international students so, and you can see how the international student votes the UK economy by just coming to study this new rules to cut that net migration my dear I don't really know how it's going to end because it's actually affecting a lot of things right now Certain higher education institutions, particularly those established after the conversion of polytechnics to universities in 1992, appear to have experienced remarkable growth last year. It is notably targeting countries outlined in the UK government's international education strategies, such as, such as India and Nigeria, witness of substantial increase in non-EU educational student enrollment. For instance, the University of Hertfordshire has reported a significant surge in international student numbers 
making up over 45 percent of its local student intake however it is likely that in the coming years it may join other universities in reporting financial difficulties due to the decline in international student numbers this is just the effect of international students not being able to come with their dependents to study in the uk now i just pray that the uk government looks into this on time because like i said a lot of lecturers will be laid off once you're laid off you get back into the labor market start job hunting a lot of people have moved to the uk this year and some of them are still looking for jobs after three months especially even dependents so you can imagine how the uk is turning into that my question is is moving to the uk really worth it i don't know you can answer that question for yourself but at the same time let's just be hopeful and wait that there will be a positive feedback especially now that the uk government have said they are going to or look into the post study work visa and make some amendments just to show you a bit of what is going on mark is even not happy about the review they have complained bitterly about the time frame and everything just as you can see on my screen the uk government has officially begun its review of the graduate route the home secretary has provided the immigration advisory committee with terms of reference for the review and has asked for the committee's report by 14th may 2024 the short time for the review process has already triggered criticism, including from the MAC itself that the committee will not have time to conduct a thorough review. Now, I can't really tell if the committee is in support of what the UK government is trying to do to the post study work or they don't just want to review. Now, let's go to the next page from the response from the committee. Mark Sherbell responded to the secretary's letter in writing on the 12th of March to agree that the committee would undertake the review. He also expressed his concern about the time anticipated for the review process. We acknowledge your request to report back by 14th May 2024. We would note that the timescales for this review are so much shorter than a commission. As such, this will substantially limit the quality and quantity of evidence that we can provide to answer the questions included in the commissioning letter. We will not be able to conduct a call for evidence given the timelines are set by the government for this commission. We also note that it has taken longer for the government to commission us than we have been given to complete the review. So this is basically the response from Mark at the moment to the UK government and let's see if anything is going to change. I hope that as they see the decline in international students coming to the UK, that will also help their decision since they said that will be published on the 14th of May. We are still waiting for that and once it's published, I will also share with you. So if you are looking at coming to the UK to study, I'm not saying don't come to the UK to study. I studied in the UK and at the same time, I wasn't entitled to post-study work visa. And here I am, I'm still in the UK till now. So if it is the UK you really want to come to, this news shouldn't uh, make you feel uncomfortable. This news shouldn't make you think that the UK is not for you. If it is UK you really want to migrate to, you can still do that. And let's hope and see if there will be any changes. I'm just um, very positive that there may be changes. And once there is any changes, I will definitely come and share with you so guys we've actually come to the end of this video and if you find this video helpful please do like and share with your friends and loved ones and also do subscribe if you're yet to join our beautiful family and until i see you in my next video thank you very much for watching bye bye for now